Well, I'm Joan Scandrett. I've been living on this park since 1961 and spending a lot of holidays in the preceding six years here. We loved the bay, the water. We used to swim at the higher tides. We used to spend the whole day virtually down here with the children and our visitors, which were very many. Well, we came when we were children. I became absolutely thrilled with the way life was here. It was such a lovely, relaxed atmosphere with farming, plenty of farming to be done, cattle and sheep, and at those, those early days we milked a herd of cows. General life, it was just beautiful farm life. This photo would have been taken on perhaps our first family visit to Scandrits Bay, about 1940, and I would have been, what, nine years old in that, that stage. There, just that's me under that, that hat. And the next one is a picture of me, must have been a year or so later, in front of the Scandrits first launch, the Araha One. The next photo I have is of a scene looking along the beach with Araha Two in the picture. And on the beach are the cows coming along to the milking shed for milk, evening milking. And that is the tent that we put up in the bay that first year we came up to camp. That would have been about 1952. And this particular Christmas, we had a very great friend who had a beautiful big 54 foot launch. He offered to tow our yacht up. We had a 12 foot six dead class yacht and he offered to tow us up with all our camping gear. So we got a small tent and we put everything in the yacht and he towed us up, dropped us off here. There was just my younger sister and this friend of ours had a wonderful summer. Well, it was lovely. We were able to participate in any farm activities. We used to go and enjoy looking and helping with the milking. We spent a good deal of time sailing, of course, in round the bay, and um, George said we could leave the boat here if we liked, but we decided to take it back, and then um, the next year we, we to were towed up again. So, And then it was just pretty well every summer <laughs> we used to come up. Being here for that first summer was just magic. We would have become an item, I suppose, about 1953. So in 1961, we married, and that was the way I came to live here after our wedding. I enjoyed the full life of the farm, cooking, shearing, haymaking. Yes, I used to come and help with the milking, particularly at night. It was always easy for me. I'd get the dinner ready and, and um, it was nice. Often we were down swimming in the evening if it was an evening tide. So I used to spend a lot of time down here at the cow shed. I enjoyed milking cows and um, being a city girl, it was something unusual. The Scandrit family have owned the land in Scandrit's Bay since 1864. George's grandfather bought it and um, it was very difficult. It was covered in manuka. He started off with a few chickens and ducks and things like that and gradually did a bit of gardening and gradually brought in a bit of area so they could just subsist really. George and Ray ran the farm together. They'd bought the farm off their mother who had survived her husband who died when he was only 50. The boys ran the farm with their 
brother Thomas who was younger and intellectually handicapped and it was a wonderful place for him to live. The Scandrit brothers established I think that name in the late 1940s, early 1950s. George was the sort of the senior one once his father died and he ran the stock side of things. Ray was more interested in maintenance and vehicles and that sort of thing, although they didn't have a tractor in those days. Everything was done with horse and, and sledges and things like that. In the early days, all transport was by scow or launch. When the stock was brought up, horses, cattle, everything was brought up on scows and with the sling was lowered over the side that had to swim ashore <laughs> in those days. So all their fertiliser, everything used to come by water and all their um, apricots, fruit, fruit that they had used to send to Auckland went back on the scales and that's the way they traded. In those days when we brought the yacht up, George and Ray had a launch for the charter that they had supplying Kauau with food for their hotel, which it was at the time. And um, they'd charter boating parties, fishing trips, and they used to take it round to Walkworth up to the wharf there because there was no road through. The launch was, was moored out in the middle of the bay and Kauau is only, it's only three miles across to Mansion House Bay, round Mullet Point, which is that point out beyond there. And they supplied meat and milk, cream, butter, things like that. The boat shed's been here since early 1900s, may have even been earlier than that. And we used to keep our dinghies in there, but originally they used it to house the launch they'd pull it up by winch and work on the boat there. And in the winter time, that's where it was housed. Ray lived along in the old homestead, along in the corner of the bay. And George had built his house up on top of the hill with the maximum amount of sunlight was what he'd tried to get. Over the Christmas period, people would come and camp. Mostly, in fact, all were friends or relations. And a few batches were built and they were on leasehold sections, which was very good because they provided some sort of an income to supplement the, the dairy farm. The first batch, Moonlight, was built by, who was our vet of the farm at the time. And he decided that he'd love to come and camp and George said, well, why don't you put up a small building? And so that's how that first one came. Well, in the end, there were seven batches. So once they built it, a batch, they could leave their stuff here. So they came more often. Over the years, some of the batch people, their friends and relations would want to come and stay and they'd ask us, could, could they put up a tent? and gradually we had more tents come. And during those summer days, there would have been several hundred, I would say, people used to come and stay. And of course, all their children, it was really family. And that's what made it so delightful. And they all became friends and one relation would tell another, well, we went up and parked at Scandrits. You know, you want to bring a tent up sometime and that's the way it grew and it was wonderful. Just generally, everybody having a typical New Zealand beach holiday. Mm -hmm.